going to use the same method as I used in part one, except this time we have to find the highest common factor of three numbers, 140, 126, and 230. Notice how I've used the same two numbers as in part one, so that I don't need to redo those factor trees, okay? So what I have to do is draw a factor tree for the third number, 230. So I need to come up with two factors that multiply together to give 230. So I'm going to use 23 and 10. 23 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle it. And two factors that multiply together to give 10 are 2 and 5, both of which are prime, so I'm going to circle those. So just like with the previous two numbers, I'm going to write this number as a product of its prime factors. So 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 23. Okay, so the method is just like in part one. If you need to find the highest common factor, you have to find the common prime factors and multiply them together, okay? So it has to be a prime factor that's common to all three numbers, okay? So let's start by looking at the number two here. I can see the number two occurs here, here, and also here. Okay, so this is a common prime factor, and I'm going to write it down over at the top here. Then if I look at this number 2, remember it wasn't common with 126, and it's not common here, so it's definitely not a common prime factor. 5 doesn't occur in each of these either, it only occurs in these two. Okay, 7 occurs in the first two numbers, but not in the final number. Okay, there isn't another common prime factor, okay, for those three numbers. So the highest common factor in this question is just two.